the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved of the Lord, and welcome. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. This day, Thursday, the 31st of March, 2022. It is Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. We thank God for bringing us to the end of this month. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 7 to 14. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 106. The response to the psalm is, O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 5, verse 31 to verse 47. I read from the first reading. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made for themselves a molten calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore, let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them. But of you I will make a great nation. But Moses begged the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought forth out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them forth, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from your fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you did swear by your own self, and did say to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised, I will give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do to his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For today's meditation is destroy your own molten calf and worship God alone. Destroy your own molten calf and worship God alone. Dearly beloved of the Lord, 
The setting of today's first reading is the desert. God, with a mighty hand, has saved the Israelites from bondage in Egypt, and they are in the desert en route to the promised land. While in the desert, it was not easy. The people complained and complained. They grumbled and grumbled. If it was not because they had no food to eat, it was because there was no water to drink. If it was not because of water, it was because they had met fierce tribes in the desert whom they had to battle against. Yet in all these, God was always present and proved himself a God for them. While in the desert, he gave them the Ten Commandments, the first being, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods, only me. This is because the Israelites, coming in contact with other pagan tribes, had the temptation of worshipping pagan gods. Today, the first reading recounts, Moses had gone up to the mountain, but before he came, the people had carved a molten calf and worshipped in place of their God, the God who saved them. And they were saying to the calf, this is the God who saved us from Egypt. A calf, an animal made by human hands. It had eyes but could not see. It had a mouth but could not talk. It had ears but it could not hear. How could they be worshipping something they had made by themselves, giving honor to a man-made God? Beloved of God, this is how exactly many times like the Israelites, we too have turned away from the God who made us. We have turned away from the God who created us, the God who has blessed us. In his place, we too have created our own molten calves and worship in place of God. On the day of our baptism, we promised God that he will be our God and we will be his people. But oh, just how often like the Israelites, we have pushed God away and in his place, we have put our own molten calves. A molten calf is that thing or that person that stands between you and God and that prevents you from giving God the worship that is his due. What is your own molten calf? It could be money. Some people worship money. They adore money. And money has taken the place of God in their lives. No wonder. They will do any and everything just to make money. So much so that they will sacrifice going to mass on Sunday just for money. You see, money has become your own golden calf. It has become the God that you worship. For some people, it is sex. Oh, they worship sex. They adore it. They will do anything for it. Beloved, then it has become your own molten calf. They watch pornography. For some, it is food and drink. Oh, when they see food and drink, they begin to shiver like some birds that have been beaten by heavy rainfall. Then food and drink has become your own molten calf. It is the God that you worship. For some, it is a human being, a friend. That friend whom you so much adore and I tell you, you do whatever they tell you. You can even sacrifice your prayers, sacrifice your time in church just to be with them. <laughs> it is a molten calf that you have made and that you worship in place of God. For some, it is our work. You may have genuine work. But if that work does not permit you to give time to God, then that work has become a molten calf that you have created to worship in place of your God. For some, there are charms that we have placed in our offices, placed in our shops, placed in our homes. For some, we are carrying in our bodies, tied around our waists, tied around our arms, armlets, bracelets, wherever, beloved those charms will fail you. 
How can you worship something that has no eyes, that has no ears to hear you? And for some, there are little statues that we have created and we go to pour libation to them and to worship them. That is your own molten calf. Today, the Lord invites us. Let us destroy those molten calves that we have created. He is the Lord our God. Only He alone we must worship. If anything comes between us and our worship of God, then you have made for yourself a molten calf. Let us pray for that grace today and always to destroy all those molten calves that we have created and that we have worshipped in place of our God. Oh dear Lord, we are sorry for turning against you, for turning our backs on you, and for worshipping false gods, man-made gods that will never save us. Forgive us, dear Lord, and we pledge and promise that only you, the God who created us, the God who saves us, only you shall we worship, and you alone will be our God. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.